that is speech. You've got to do what you've got to do. If I call him up, he has a bit of background of cat tricks. He says that he loves to watch movies. I suppose you've seen all the blockbusters that are coming play or in the past few years. And he also likes to work out at the gym and love to eat. I thought it was the biggest size, Patrick, but it's still normal to me. So without further ado, you've got to do what you've got to do. Patrick Koo. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good, Good evening. evening. And uh, my apologies for uh, being late. And uh, Henry was very kind to say that I'm on time. But anyway, um, just for a show of hands, how many of us have been to the dentist? Or rather, how many of us like going to the dentist? <laughs> I think I can relate to more of you except Peter. I think we are the same boat that uh, many of us uh, dread going to the dentist, let alone having somebody to check our teeth. So, you know, and, uh, but it is a common knowledge that we got to have our dental check every now and then. Isn't it true? Yeah. Isn't it a common knowledge that that uh, we're going to have our teeth checked? But sometimes we take that phrase every now and then, which is supposed to mean every one to two years, to literally meaning every 10 or 20 years. Yeah, more or less. <laughs> so, there you go. So as for me, you know, I don't really want to go to dentist unless it is absolutely necessary and so and uh, so yeah I, I recall back so basically tonight I'm going to share with you my experience basically to the dentist chamber of torture <laughs> so growing up you know I, I remember my mom took me to a dentist for the first for the first time and uh, it wasn't a pleasant experience because there was a lot of anxiety so, because, uh, you know, as you're growing up, you have baby tooth, you know, supposed to come out, supposed to come out, but one stubborn tooth decides to stay. So, we have to go to the dentist, the dentist have a look at it, and they say, no problem. Before I knew it, the tooth was out. So, in less than a minute, my ordeal was all over. My mom was happy, the dentist was happy, I was very happy. Because at the end of it, I got to use my string. So that was the first visit. Now, almost 30 years later, I have to go to the dentist for the second time. <laughs> <laughs> and this time, it certainly did not take less than a minute. You see, what happened was that I was in pain in the gum for some time. At first, I tried to dismiss it because I thought, you know, it's. It's not that serious, Patrick. It's, it's okay. You just can tahan a bit, you know? And try to think that maybe it was some mouth infection, you know? So, I let it go, but as the days go by, it's not getting any better. So, I decided that uh, to go and see a doctor, thinking that maybe, you know, I can get some medicine for my so-called mouth infection. And uh, you know, telling the doctor I could be having a fever. Guess what the doctor told me? He scolded me and said, "You better go and see a dentist. <laughs> this is not just <laughs> business." And so the next thing was that I told myself, "You've got to do what you've got to do." You know, it's funny that somehow, as human beings, we all have this nature. Whenever we face something difficult. We try to find the uh, alternative way, isn't it true? We try to find the road that is least resistance to try to still get the job done. But at the end of it, when push comes to shove, you've got to do what you've got to do. You know, it, and it's for me, you know, I decided to go to the dentist and uh, sometimes we all face with that kind of decision in our lives may be going to the dentist or it could be something that's more dramatic or something that is very mundane in our life today the question is when we decide to do it 
will it be too late? Fortunately for me, it wasn't. See, when I went to the dentist this time, she had one look at it. She told me, Patrick, Mr. Cool, the culprit is your wisdom tooth. Now, I have very little knowledge about wisdom tooth, but certainly it has nothing to do with our wisdom. <laughs> That's for sure. And normally, you don't see your wisdom tooth when it's growing inside your mouth. It's hidden underneath the gum. And so wisdom tooth is that when it grows, it can go in all sorts of directions. So my wisdom tooth was growing this way out. So my teeth was here, and my gum is here, but the wisdom tooth is hidden beneath the gum, and it's growing this way, and it's pushing against my molar teeth. And it hurts so much, it's like, gosh, let's get it operated. She said, yeah, if you're gonna get operated right now. And I said, go for it. How long does it take? Uh, half an hour. I say, okay, half an hour, go for it. Then she took out one big needle. <laughs> I say, how many of that you got? She, she said, you got to stick three of these, three doses of anesthetic into my mouth. I did close my eyes and let the surgery begin. And before you know it, my mouth was so numb. But I could still feel when she hold the knife, she was slicing through my gum. <laughs> And suddenly, I feel that my mouth was so wet, which I thought it was saliva, but I think it was blood. <laughs> and actually, before I knew it, half an hour gone past. And she was using this, she was trying to pull. I was like, what's going on? Half an hour. <laughs> this is not right. And the next thing, she took out an electric drill. <laughs> what is going on? And she said, you, I got to break your wisdom tooth because it's too long. I got to break it into pieces so that I can surgically remove it. Oh Before God. that, half an hour to one hour, and later, one and a half hour, everything was over. I was relieved, and at the same time, you know, my fear subsided, and then she stitched me up. And the whole ordeal basically it comes down to I just decided that, wow. This is an experience of a lifetime because I get to do what I've got to do. You know, sometimes in our life, we just got to do things that we don't really like it. So my fellow postmasters and friends, it could be your relationship, it could be somebody special that you want to impress or somebody that you want to share and express your love to. I want to encourage you, take that determination and decide to do what you've got to do. Thank you so much for listening.